How are we doing, Incog family? I hope everyone is keeping well, keeping safe, and trading safe as usual. So, today's topic external range liquidity, but how to use the lower time frames to get involved. Yeah, how to use the lower time frame to get involved. Now, it's slightly aggressive, but um, waiting for the right signs and implementing this along with structure is very powerful. Okay. Now, as always, guys, make sure you test it, make sure you test it and only use it if it's going to add to your trading plan. Otherwise, don't even bother. <laughs> don't even bother. Yeah, it's that simple. So external range liquidity is essentially um, liquidity sweeps or sweep, sweeps of liquidity of the swing ranges. Yeah, so we can have. So let's say these are my swing ranges. So this high got broken. So this is my low and this is my high. Okay, my most, my relevant range. Okay, this is what we refer to as my most recent range. So if we get a sweep of liquidity here, or a sweep of liquidity here, of these highs, that to me is an external range liquidity sweep. Yeah. So how can we get in early? Now, I've done videos on this before and you know, the safest way to see see this is wait for the follow through on that relevant time frame. Just wait for the follow through. What I mean by follow through is at least a change character. Okay, so we've swept liquidity, yeah, and we've shifted bullish or bearish. Yeah, so for example, let's say this is M15. We've swept liquidity and we have seen a change of character. So at that point, we've seen that follow through. Okay, it's not just, um, you know, we, we've, we've basically confirmed that sweep at that point yeah now in this video it's slightly more aggressive aggressive way to get in how how we can get in using the lower time frames yeah and like i say make sure you test it and you know only use it if it's going to add to your edge yeah because this is aggressive so when i want to see a sweep or when i see a sweep yeah and i'm looking for a lower time frame entry i don't want to see a big bodied candle i don't want to see a big bodied candle yeah what i ideally want to see is a candle with large wicks smaller body yeah or the wicks are prominent yeah the wicks are prominent so let's say something like this yeah so that's the first sign i'm looking for so let's say this on the m15 that's the first sign i'm looking for so i don't want to see a candle like this yeah this is no good for me yeah if i see a candle like this so understand, right, okay, so on the lower time frames, we'll be able to see what's in these wicks, what's in these wicks. So at that point, what I'm looking for is to see if the lower time frames have shifted, because obviously we're coming down. So on the lower time frame, we're coming down like this. So let's say this then one, we're coming down like this, this is the bottom of the wick, and we come higher. If the lower time frames have has already shifted at that point, I'm happy to get in aggressively. Now, like I said, like I said, this is aggressive and you need to have a clear, clear understanding of your swing structure. If not, you're better off just waiting for that time frame. So let's say you're using the 15 minute for your intraday time frame, just wait for that time frame to shift bullish or bearish, okay, depending on if you're looking to buy it. So, yeah, so let's have a look at an example. And as always, I'll leave you guys to it to test. So guys, as I'm mapping up my structure here, um, just doing a little bit of marketing as usual. If you guys do enjoy the content on this page, give it a like, give it a share. And if you've not already done so, subscribe to this channel. Yeah, um, you'll get weekly content on here. So this is my structure. Now, until we break below here, I'm still bullish on this time frame, which is the 15 minute. Yeah, until we break below here. Now, like I say, in order to use this, you need to understand your high time frame structure, your intraday time frame structure, in order to really put this together. Yeah. Sorry, guys, cut off a little bit there. So, as I was saying, until we break below it, there's no um, confirmation for me that we've um, turned bearish. Yeah. So, I'm just going to draw a line here. Yeah, just so I can zoom into price action and just show you guys clearly what I'm looking for here so this is the low yeah 
So we come lower and we see this initial candle, this initial candle. We go lower, right? But look, it's a big bodied candle. It's a big bodied candle. That is no use to me. It doesn't really tell me that it's a clean sweep. Yeah. The next candle, yeah, I can clearly see longer wicks, right? Long wicks, pretty indecisive. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. Now, when I see this, now I understand potentially um, this is a liquidity sweep. Now, I need more information on what this candle has actually achieved on the lower time frame. Has the lower time frame shifted? Yeah. So if I just jump to the lower time frame, what do I see? Right. So here, what I can see is more clarity. Yeah. The lower time frames, all it does essentially is get, it gives you more resolution of the higher time frame. Yeah. So that 15 minute wick, what it actually did, take out liquidity like we know now, is taken out external range liquidity. Not only that, it has given us a bullish change of character. It's given us a bullish change of character. Yeah, so this good signs for me in order to look to continue to look to buy, right? Understanding that, right, that's a potential sweep. Now you can target, um, you know, realistically you wanna be targeting you know, the next sort of supply chain and make sure there's enough range if you are going to trade this there's enough range um to that next supply zone yeah i might do a video on that later on but that's very important if there's not enough range to the supply zone then you're better off waiting for that zone to fail yeah you don't want to get caught up in trades or you don't want to put um you know take trades whereby you're forcing it and there's no real um range for you to trade with it yeah so you can target these highs, these highs here, or just we work with the 50% of this overall POI region, shall I say? Yeah. So back to the low time frames. Now, if you guys have not watched the POI videos, make sure you have a look at it. Okay, the inside bar POI. Yeah. So what we have here is change character. We also have an inside bar which is a really really good POI yeah um, as far as I'm concerned works well for me now from here you can look to trade from the top you can look to trade from the 50% whatever it is it's up to you guys yeah stops below the low of the POI so let's just go with the six pips stop loss here right just over six pips here and like we said we're targeting at least the 50% so you can look to take partials here and then leave the rest running whatever it is because remember we're still bullish here and we've had a sweep of external range liquidity we're just looking to get in aggressively here yeah so if I then play this out we get tagged in and off it goes yeah now like I said the less aggressive way to get in is to wait for the 15 minute to start to shift and then you can look to gain yeah it's completely fine however this method is just an aggressive way of getting in yeah so different ways of getting into trades guys and it really is going to depend on your personality yeah i understand you know not everyone is as aggressive sorry guys cut off again um but yeah as i was saying there's many ways of getting into these trades yeah and ultimately it's just going to come down to you know how you are and your personality yeah so the this way this way is is an aggressive way of getting into these ty types of trades yeah we're gonna wait for the 15 minute to shift it's a uh, you know it, you're getting more confirmation there yeah so it really depends on how you are and your personality yeah so i'm just showing you guys different ways make sure to only use it if you've tested it one and if you believe that it's gonna add to your trading plan yeah, if it's not, then don't bother. Just don't bother. You don't need to learn everything or know everything to get consistent. So, guys, that's it for me today. Uh, I just thought I'd do that quick little video on how to get into those aggressive plays. Yeah, emphasis on aggress aggressive. Yeah. So, yeah, as usual, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. And, you know, it's these things. Yeah, these are all concepts that you guys need to test and make it your own. Make it your own. Yeah it's very important to make your own trading plan. Yeah, what works for me might not work for you. Yeah, 
And remember, you don't need to know everything or use everything to become consistent. Yeah. Only add to your trading plan with things that genuinely add to your edge. Yeah. So, like I said, if you've got any questions, just let me know. And until next time, trade safe.